I don't know whether to say good morning or good afternoon or, or maybe just a good day, YouTube. Beloved brothers and sisters, it's February the 25th, 2016. I'm getting a late start today. I'm getting a late start today. I'm going to have my coffee. I'm going to have a sip of coffee, and I'm going to share that with all of you. Let me know what you're going to share for, well, it's too late for breakfast. It is in uh, my time in Michigan, 11.28 a.m. It's a little bit too soon for lunch. So gather around. Gather around. What are you having for brunch? And what are you going to share with PD? Hold on. i got some important uh, things coming up. First, I want to touch on just a couple of uh, things in the news. Um, oh, my, my goodness. Well, Barack Obama has come out and surprised everyone. And uh, he, his nominee for Supreme Court Justice is a Republican. Can you, where did that come from? We're going to have to see how that plays out. Donald Trump is just uh, barreling ahead in the polls. And uh, he has been the front runner against all odds. So many people would say, he, well, he's just, uh, uh, it's a novelty and it's going to wear off. Um, but he is uh, ahead of everyone, and he, Super Tuesday, Super Tuesday is coming, and he might just blow them all out of the water. I pray for his safety. I pray for his safety, because he doesn't fit the New World Order, a one world government, and the Vatican, the Jesuit, one Jesuit uh, Pope, or false prophet of the Book of Revelation, uh... Pope Francis, you know, the guy that wears a, wears a dress, um, he doesn't fit the New World Order or the One World Religion. He's not for any of that. He's very outspoken. And he's not a politician, so I worry about him. I guess uh, now he is wearing a bulletproof vest. But when someone like him comes along, you know, that doesn't, uh, is not going to go along with the end game, uh, Satan's uh, demonic plan uh, to usher in and to destroy the downfall of America and usher in a new world order and a one world currency and a one world religion, Donald Trump is kind of uh, in the way. And I'm worried about his safety. I really, truly am. Let me know how you weathered the storms yesterday. So much damage and destruction in the south of winds and rain and tornadoes. And I was watching on the news. It was uh, where a laundromat had stood. There was only a few wash machines and the rest was all rubble. A trailer, a park community uh, not far from there is totally destroyed. And we need to keep everyone lifted up in prayer. But lost loved ones, family members, and lost property. This has been devastating. And I have to question, here in Michigan, we didn't get the tornadoes, but it's still snowing. We are, we are just buried in snow. And I have to wonder about fallen angel technology. That's right, I said fallen angel, demonic technology. Going back, going back to the Vietnam War, they used weather modification, how many years ago that has been, to manipulate, to control the weather, to make it rain in Vietnam. And that was in the 1960s. Here we are in 2016. How far advanced do you think this technology has come? Could it have been a geoengineered storm that hit the United States on purpose? And what would the reasoning be for all of this destruction and tampering with the weather? We, we do not tamper with that which belongs to God. That's how evil and demonic. This is true. This happens. They have the technology with the chemtrails are raining down on the people, crisscrossing in the sky, cloud seeding, then putting a hologram, Project Blooming, a hologram up into the, uh, into the sky to maybe make it appear like there's a false messiah coming or an alien invasion. So don't tell me that they could not create the storm and that they didn't create uh, Hurricane Sandy and Hurricane Katrina all for their evil agenda. 
Ah, I will be back. I love you guys. Ministry announcements. We are just devastated by the, the storm. So many people are out in the elements, and it is freezing in Michigan. And I'm exhausted just from trying to shovel my way out of the driveway this morning. And I'm getting older, and I feel the crunch. But we need your help desperately. Ministry announcements. There have been no offerings to announce today. Please, if the Holy Spirit pours on your heart that this is the ministry to give, I'll put the link below where you can give and how you can support our homeless inner city outreach ministry. I'm praying because the Holy Spirit is overpowering me again and has been for two days because I know Father God my father who art in heaven is not well pleased and has to be wondering. Yeshua, our beloved bridegroom, has to be wondering what has happened to his church. The church that was once the church of Jesus Christ has become big business or corporation where the pastor is the president, the CEO, and then they have a vice president and board members. The 501c3 church that sold Jesus out, that threw Jesus under the bus. And there's one such organization. And, I, and it's laid heavy on my heart. But I have contacted, I'm going to wait and see their response. But I, I may have to do an expose, a correct, and a rebuke video, a strong one, on the 501c3 church. We're not 501c3. If you give to this ministry, we pay the tax. We give, render unto Caesar what's due Caesar. And we give to God what is due God. But if you do support this ministry, you can claim that. We'll talk about that later. We need your help. I'll put the link. Oh, feel the Holy Spirit. I'll put the link to how you can give to support this ministry below.